Julie Blanner from the lifestyle website julieblanner.com and if you've been following my site or my YouTube channel for a while now you know that I love all things simple and a large part of that is a minimalist approach that blends design and function today I'm going to share a little bit about our Lacanche range with you I receive a lot of questions about it especially on Instagram and I thought I would address them all here I have quite a detailed blog post as well, so if you have any questions that I don't answer there or in this video, please go ahead and ask them. I'm always happy to help. So when we were designing our home, I had only once seen this range. It had actually not become popular yet. It was before it had received press from Ina Garden's Kitchen and had kind of taken over Instagram. So I was a little unsure and there was definitely a lack of information out there about it. There really weren't any reviews or anything else, so I felt compelled to really share my experience in effort to help others. Now, one of the things that you'll notice about our Lacanche range is that it doesn't have glass windows. Here in the US, we've become very accustomed to that where you can see what you're baking without actually opening it up. That is a luxury you do not have with this range, but for me, it's something I've never missed, I've never looked back. And it's actually one of the reasons I selected this range. Of course, I love the design of it. The design is like bar none. And I had really gone back and forth looking between the Lacanche and Le Corneau. And Le Corneau, I felt like it had been integrated into a lot of kitchens over time. There was more information on it and it was very beautiful, but I just, you know, completely fell head over heels in love with the aesthetics of the Lacanche range. And um, part of that is the unlacquered brass, the lack of windows, just the beautiful knobs and craftsmanship that goes into this. It is very sturdy and durable, and it just feels special. And I like that it kind of feels traditional. It blends in that old world charm with a hint of that modern charm. It's really, truly timeless, which is exactly what I was looking for when designing our kitchen. Now, it was really overwhelming when you're spending this much money on something, designing it. So I really poured my heart and soul into configuring it and designing something that would work functionally for me. I am primarily the cook and baker in our home. Hopefully someday the girls will join me, but for right now it's all me, and so I designed it to fit my needs. So I have one larger burner, which is really great when I'm making like something like a stew or something braised, it's so wonderful. I use this one primarily for those larger dishes, those things that you're making when you're expecting 15 to 25 people. It's really great for like meats and stuff like that. It's truly a wonderful size, but it's not something you use on a regular basis. I use this burner for making chocolate, anything that I need to kind of melt and not burn. And then these are my standards that I tend to use a lot more often. I think I would have put this one over here and vice versa, just because I have marble countertops. So I try to keep anything like really greasy more toward the center, but really I'm overall very happy with the configuration of the top and truly with the ovens as well. So this oven over here on the right is my convection and electric oven. It's really nice that you can just flip a switch and go from one to the other. And this door opens to the side and it has several racks so that I can bake a ton of stuff at once. And I thought I was going to, and I thought I was going to love the convection. And what I didn't realize or do a lot of research into is it is not modern convection. It is traditional French convection, which means the fans are only at the back. But what that causes is, is that the baked goods 
all bake unevenly, so you have to rotate them halfway through. And even still, not as even as I like. And while it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, when you have eight racks of stuff in there, it's kind of daunting and there's not a lot of space to work with. So that has been one of the biggest challenges of our Lacanche range. I really like that you can switch it to electric as well. That's been wonderful. But if you are really looking for a nice, even convection bake, I think you might look to more modern convection of the ranges like Thermidors, Wolves, etc. Another thing about this side is, is this is the side you can broil on. I wish that I could broil in my gas range because it has more space and a lot of times the things that I need to broil are much larger. So that would be something that I would have done differently if I could. However, I tend to gravitate towards baking on the gas side. I really like it. It's a nice, sizable oven. It's really great for those like roasts and things like that to braise. It's really great for roasting veggies and meats and all of that, it's wonderful. So I really like this side and I tend to gravitate toward using that. This side fits a full size cookie sheet, as you can see. Now what I love about our range is the design of it. I'm still truly enamored with it. It is the centerpiece of our kitchen. The cooktop works really well for my lifestyle and whether we're entertaining or we're just feeding our family it's worked rather well. A couple of things that I didn't love as much is that when we purchased it, which is almost three years ago, but it didn't come in until quite a bit later, one of the things I didn't love is that it was really difficult to find someone to install it. There really isn't any support in the US, not really anyone around and no ideas of who to contact to install. But finding somebody that could specifically install a Lacanche that had experience with installing one, I came up empty. So we have our contractors install it, which they're really familiar with installing an array of finer ranges. So it wasn't for lack of expertise, that's for sure. But things didn't quite work right. So we contacted Lacanche, they gave us a little guidance, they really referred us to their massive notebooks, and we had a plumber come out at our expense again, as well as another electrician. So every time we had to have a plumber and electrician come out at our expense to adjust anything. So we had them come out again. And really at that point, we had spent a couple thousand dollars plus on having it installed, having it set up, having it adjusted, that I kind of just made my peace with it. I was frustrated, but I also was like, you know what, it still works. It's just going to take a lot of getting used to because it was burning things, things were cooking unevenly. Really struggled with getting both the burners and the oven to light. And eventually, I think so many people contacted Lacanche about it, about my experience because of my blog post, that they sent someone, I believe he was from Florida, but I can't recall. I know that's where he was off to next. They flew him in, he spent six hours at their expense adjusting it. Now it works better now, but it's still not perfect. And that is kind of the biggest disappointment for me because this is not a decision to be made lightly. It's a very expensive range. And I think I was a little bit, had a little bit of bad taste in my mouth because they said, well, you must not cook very often. Well, I cook all the time, I bake all the time. Probably more than most just because of my line of work as well. But I'll show you, when you go to ignite, you have to go past and you have to hold it in for quite a while for it to actually work. They all light well now and they're all lighting at the right heat. So the top is functioning properly. So one of the things that differs in this is that you have to hold down the gas for a full 10 seconds on the oven before it will actually light and stay lit. And that's very different than a lot of the US ranges. It all though does function properly. Another issue that I had had was the seal in this range was hanging out for a good six months. And I was flustered, we kept stuffing it back in, kept coming back out. 
Well, when they sent the guy out to fix everything else, they had him replace that and they said, oh, yours was just one of three. It's not a big deal, we'll get it replaced for you. But I felt like they should have contacted me to let me know that that was defective and had corrected that at their own will versus the struggle that ensued afterwards. But overall, I really enjoyed our range and it cooks and bakes pretty well. You just have to know some of those little nuances like rotating things. My gas oven tends to cook a lot more quickly than a lot of people's electric ovens. So adjusting for that for my readers and making sure that they always know how long to bake something, but that can be with any range. Overall, I really like it. It's a beautiful piece of art. It's timeless. And man, that unlacquered brass gets me every time. You can see that I, like most, use my lower drawer, mostly for storage because it's heavier and bulkier than I have room for in my cabinetry for some of the accessories for the range, but it comes with so many amazing accessories. So you'll be really pleased with that if you decide to purchase this range. But it also makes a really great warming drawer if you have the gas oven on. You can opt to have an actual warming drawer. I just decided to cut my expenses there. These come standard in black and the color enamel costs a bit more. I had my cabinets color matched, which I'll link to the color code in the description below, but I had it matched to the enamel and I'm so glad I did. I'm really happy with how it pairs and kind of blends all together and makes our kitchen feel larger and really just more calming. Whether you're looking at the La Concha or the La Cornu, I hope you enjoyed this video about French ranges. I will also link to the Le Cornu in the description below, as well as my post about the Leconche with some more details. And if you have any questions, as always, just let me know. But whatever you do, don't forget to click subscribe because I would love to see you again soon.